Happy Monday, everybody. My name is Nicole, and if you haven't been here, welcome to my channel, Life as a Law Student. Today, we're reacting to law school horror stories. Hope none of these happen to me. So about a year ago, BuzzFeed released a video of two law students swapping law school horror stories. It has been a year since I watched it and I don't remember any of the stories. So I thought I'd watch this again and give you guys my honest reaction as someone who has finished the admission cycle but hasn't actually started law classes yet. You can swim in my tears, that's how much I cried <laughs> in law school. <laughs> Promising start. So cold calling is basically you're in class and then the professor calls on people. So he might say, Tina, like what was the court's rationale? And like, well, what did the dissenting opinion say? So I've heard of that a lot. It's called the Socratic method. I'm not too nervous about cold calling. Just gonna knock on wood real quick. But really like public speaking is not a big deal for me. I know a lot of people don't like it and I think it's fine. The thing that freaks me out is if that happened on a day I was unprepared or if I wasn't expecting it. So the initial, Miss Miller, what was the court's rationale? That question might jump me up a little bit, but once I get going, I think I'll be just fine. So I'll let you guys know in a couple months if that assessment of myself is accurate. I slept through my class the next day through that morning and I missed class. I'm noticing a pattern of what constitutes a horror story in law school. Missing class. Got it. Don't miss class. So I'm covered in sweat. I have Pedialyte as my breakfast and I have my aviator sunglasses and I stroll into class and I'm like, yes, I got this. I don't got this. <laughs> Story of my life. So I felt myself about to throw up and we're locking eyes and I can feel it like a chipmunk just culminating in my mouth because I'm so nervous. I run into the bathroom and he didn't even call on me. So I puke in the bathroom for no reason. Would it have been better though? Would it have made it like worthwhile if he did call on you? I feel like puking in the bathroom for no reason is just as bad as puking in the bathroom for a reason. The moot court is like mock trial. We don't get to yell out, I object. That's the best part though. One really old lawyer man comes up to us and he was just talking to us it was really early in the morning and he looks at me and goes i'm surprised they let women argue silence from our table and it was something that i necessarily wasn't prepared for coming in to law school it like just threw me for the whole competition so i did end up rolling my eyes and saying like mm -hmm, a lot i got a little feisty i got a little attitude over there yeah i would leave i feel like one time i was competing for mock trial and every other attorney in the room was a male i am pretty short i'm five four and i'm scrawny <laughs> and I obviously have a pretty high-pitched voice and so at the end of the trial I always went up to the judges and I said hey what can I improve on for next time what did I do that you liked didn't like etc and one of these judges said and I kid you not you're a short and sassy female you just need to be more confident and I was like what <laughs> It's crazy that I have to overcompensate so much for the fact that I am smaller than my competitors, that my voice is higher, and that I'm going to say things and look at things a little bit differently. Just because you're not masculine doesn't mean that you're not confident, okay? I really hope law school isn't as discriminatory against women as it sounds like it was for this particular woman, but I will keep you guys posted. And then I open the first page of my booklet. I look down and I just start bawling in the exam room, just crying. And I try to look cute because I figure if I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna look fly as I fail. And I did it. Mascara was running everywhere. My cat eye was not cute like it is. And my laptop, I was like, great. Now there's water everywhere. It's gonna explode. Then I'm gonna burn the school down accidentally. That's how crying works, just like that. Like, really tests you. I don't cry now anymore. Okay, <laughs> takeaways. I'm gonna cry a lot. I'm gonna be really scared. Everything's humiliating. And you're never prepared for what's gonna happen. Awesome.
So on that note, subscribe so that you can watch all of my teary-eyed confessions about law school horror stories this fall. No, but seriously, you guys, my intention is to keep these videos going all the way through my law school career so you can see exactly what it's like in a day, in a week, in a year in the life of a law student. All the way from 1L to 2L to 3L to summer internships, taking the bar, and hopefully one of these days becoming an attorney. So thank you so much for being here. Make sure to like this video, comment below if you liked it, or if you have any other videos that you want me to react to or video ideas for me to create. I would love to hear back from you guys. And until next time, God bless.